Offloading to Wi-Fi has always been a big topic in wireless and uh, we're here at Wavion today to talk about why it's so important and what kind of solutions Wavion's offering to, uh, to carriers around the globe. Hi, Sabria. Hi. Um, welcome to Wavion. Um, we see a tremendous growth in the demand for, uh, for offloading of uh, capacity from cellular to, uh, to Wi-Fi, but you see here solutions from Wavion to do offloading. You see all over here some, some base stations that we are selling new new models, which include the beamforming that comes from Wavion to, together with the uh, 802.11n, the new standard for uh, uh, for highest uh, capacity together with the, which comes with MIMO. Um, so the growth is, is all over the world. We see operators all over the world looking into um, offloading data, offloading their congested capacity uh, networks to, uh, to uh, Wi-Fi. And um, it's, it's both uh, solar offloading and backhauling that are looking into uh, to doing together with, uh, with Wi-Fi. Doing it, doing it already today, actually, over, over uh, the networks today. Uh, in parallel to, to 3G and they're looking also to do it in parallel to the 4G that is coming uh, with, with the LTE. Because the demand is growing all over, uh, smartphones and the laptops are connected to Wi-Fi, it's uh, ubiquitous uh, um, all over, more and more devices coming with Wi-Fi and it's available, it's matured, operators uh, need to reduce their costs um, and Wi-Fi is just uh, a way to do it to also to improve the user experience of um, the experience, I mean, because of the congested of the of the cellular. So. Now, Avion says that it can offer 50% capex and opex reduction to operators. How can you offer 50%? That seems like a lot to offer. Yeah. The thing is that with Wavion, because of the beam forming um, and because of the capabilities, the radio capabilities that comes with Wavion, you need less sites to deploy per given per given area. So you have less site to, to, uh, to deploy, uh, to, that's the COPEX issue, and then to maintain, which is probably even more important, so it's 50% on COPEX and, and OPEX. I would say the big challenge in general for Wi-Fi is, uh, is interference. Uh, the network, it's an open spectrum, you have many, many uh, devices uh, on Wi-Fi, so it's, uh, it's, it's a quite a challenge to build uh, solutions which can um, mitigate and work properly and maximize the performances in this unlicensed spectrum. And this is something that we're doing for like 10 years already, over a decade, to optimize the performances of the solution over uh, Wi-Fi. This is what the company do. This is the core technology of the company. Uh, they've been forming, which inherently uh, suppress interference by uh, at least 5 dB, sometimes even more. And, um, and the uh, interference, there's some algorithms within the products, hardware and software based, to reduce uh, the effect of interference and, perform and, and optimize the performances. So it can adapt itself and switch bands if necessary, or it can do a lot. It can do. Uh, it can switch. I mean, it can scan and uh, find best channel and switch on the fly. It can tune all sorts of parameters between the uh, within the within the transmitters and, and receivers to maximize the performances. Um, and and the beamform itself in inherently suppress interference by 5 dB again, uh, and this is unique. Um, capability of the beam forming, so it's uh, all sorts of uh, mechanisms there, hardware and software way to optimize the performance as, uh, while operating. O overall, I think that if we look at the market, it's divided between, um, between developed and developing countries. In developing countries, it's more access, like big metros, um, like for example, a big project that we have in Navy Mumbai, where over 50 square kilometers of urban area, uh, Tata is connecting residential users with Wi-Fi for uh, access, primary broadband connection uh, with Wave and Wi-Fi. Uh, in uh, the developed countries, like uh, like in the USA or Korea or Japan, it's uh, more characteristic by 3G offloading. The demand to, de to deploy metro zones um, and enable people to connect there and to offload from the congested uh, 3G networks and, uh, and 4G networks that uh, exist there.